Hello everybody, welcome to today's webinar. Um, we're going to be looking at Education City for Year One and Phonics today. For those of you who are um, new, my name's Hayley, I'm going to take you through this webinar today. Um, now, just before we get started, um, I have been told I can talk quite quickly, so I apologise for that. Um, but all of our webinars are available to view on the video user guide and on our YouTube page. So if I do go too fast for you, I do apologise. You can go and watch the um, webinars in your own time um, afterwards if you wish to. Um, the other thing is that my mouse, um, I don't know if you can see it just there, um, we have tried to change the size and the colour of it so that it, it's a bit more obvious as to where I'm clicking. As you can see, that hasn't worked. So I will be um, a little bit, try and be a little bit more obvious as to where I am clicking when I'm doing this. The other thing is, again, off your feedback, a um, couple of people sort of saying, yeah, but what does this mean and what does that mean? We have got some webinars that talk about the foundations of Education City, including the different resources and how you can set my cities, for example. So please do watch those um, when you can, and they will hopefully give you a little bit more insight into how Education City works. But back to today's webinar, Year One and Phonics. Now, personally, I was um, never a Year One teacher. I always did sort of Year Two and above. Um, but I have taught phonics and we have some amazing tools at Education City for you in terms of phonics. So what we're going to be looking at today is the phonic resources that Education City has to offer, the year one tools that we have that will support the teaching of phonics as well as other areas, and then other supporting tools um, that may help you in using Education City for your year one class. Um, now, just before we get started again, the account I'm using is a made up school, so do not worry about any names that you might see. They are all made up, uh, so no GDPR being broken there. It is also an English account, so I will point out if there are any differences um, if you're joining us today from outside of England. And finally, if you've got any questions for me, um, please do hold on to them to the very end and I can give you my email address, you can send them over and I hope to respond at some point today. Okay, all of that out of the way, let's get started. So educationcity.com and here we are at our homepage. Now, just before I show you those tools I was talking about, this is the video user guide just here on the right hand side of the screen. If you click into that, you can see the very first thing there is webinars. There are also other guides there into how to use certain tools, but that is where you'll find all of our webinars, including today's, uh, to watch at some point if you need to. Now, starting off with phonics, I am using the new page for this webinar. If you are on the old one, don't worry, you can click on the ribbon just there and it will bring you to the new page um, if you wish to use it this way. I just find it's a little bit more fluid and it's got some brand new features such as the work overview tool there that I like to show off a little bit. Um, so starting off with phonics. Now you will notice at the bottom of the page we've got our quick link to phonics just there. So at the very bottom underneath all the tools you've got your quick link. However, I'm going to head into the subject area and just show you where that quick link will take you. So the subjects, you can click on the left hand side just there. It will take you to the same page, into the subjects page. So we'll click into the subjects page. Now, this may appear differently in terms of the wording, but we're heading to literacy or English. And here we are. Now, this will appear differently depending upon whether you teach in um, year groups or P levels or key stages, whatever you teach in, this will appear slightly different. But I'm going to head into key stage one. So that's year one or two or P2 and three, if you're looking at it um, from another point of view. And you'll see we've got our phonics tools. Now, I head over to Lesson Sounds. Um, these are the Education City Phonics tools that you have on offer. And you can see they are sorted 
um, how this is how we've sorted them at Education City into these different groups. And you'll notice we've also got tools for tricky words and for reading. If we head towards the top, you can see we've got phase two, phase three, and four and five. So you can head through those there. We've also got tools for CBC words and um, tricky words, for example, but we cover all um, sounds that you will need just here. You can have a look through those if you need to. Now, if I click into one of those, you'll see you've got your um, activity sheet that goes alongside that activity. Remember, all activities that the children do will get marked for you by the system, which means that during this time when children may be missing a little bit of learning, you will be able to use the success tracker to track their progress and learning. I will show you that success tracker and how it can be used later on. But just bear that in mind in this sort of time where children may be missing certain areas, you can set these tools as activities. Um, see, if I click on the Add to My City just there, there we go, you can set it as an activity just there. Um, and obviously it will get marked for you. So the children, they'll do it, it'll get marked and you can track their progress and also any gaps that they may have as well. Now you can see I'm uh, if I head into one of these as an example, you can see you can go forwards and backwards through these using these forwards and backwards arrows. And any activity will tell you if there is a learn screen associated. We've got a couple of learn screens that you can use for teaching of different sounds. Um, those of you that don't know, learn screen is kind of like a PowerPoint video. Um, so really good for teaching at home. You can also head into, if I head back along our breadcrumb trail here, you can also head into the learn screens to see the activities that um, are fulfilled with those. So you can see here the grapheme that is being used, the EA grapheme. Here's your learn screen and here's the activity that is linked to that. So it will tell you if there, there is that link. So in addition to those phonics activities and possible learn screens, you also have um, a couple of thing kits that you might be able to use just there, really good for sort of discussion work. Now, if I head into topic tools, um, bear in mind that topic tools um, are sort of being replaced um, come the summer months. As um, Flash obviously is retiring, we are updating Education City with some brand new tools that are available for HTML5, so on an iPad or a tablet. But in the meantime, you can explore and you can see we've got our phonics dictionary and the phonics screen. Now, although this isn't available on an iPad or a tablet, what I would like to show you, I just allow flash for now, is the printable function for this. So you can have a look in your section here. You've got section one, section two, simple word structures just there, consonant digraphs, frequent vowel digraphs. So if we go into, let's go for R, why not? And you can see we've got a range of words here that we can add into our list. And you can see there's a few alien words there as well. Now, normally you could start and you could start doing this check and you could record those that have been read, whether or not they're alien words, for example, those that haven't been read. And obviously at the end, you'll have your words read, words not read summary. However, if I head back along here, what you can do is you can list these as flashcards. If I just show you what those will look like. You've got a, flip, a few flashcards there. You see the alien words have got little aliens that the children can colour in. And you can save these as PDFs to send home via email, for example, if you want um, parents to practice with children. You can also print off a list as an answer sheet so parents can mark off the words that their children are reading correctly or incorrectly to feed back to you. Um, maybe when the children get back to school or by email, if that's how you are in touch with um, your parents, as an example. Again, you can see you've got that save as a PDF function there as well. So although these particular functions, these particular topic tools are retiring, 
doesn't mean you can't still use them. So explore, see what you can find. Now, if I just head back up to the top and back along our breadcrumb trail to English, I'm going to head into the early years now because we've got some lovely videos that cover um, different sounds. Um, you can see we've got some lovely ones for um, different, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Nursery rhymes, there's the one, that's the one I'm thinking of. You've got some lovely ones for nursery rhyme as well as the alphabet song and the lowercase letters sing along just there. If we head into um, Key Stage 1, we also have some videos and these will discover poetry, stories, but also CBC words or CCBCC words as it's listed here. So please do explore the different tools that Education City has to offer in order to support you in supporting your children with phonics. Um, but also you can use these different tools um, for any other um, subject area with your children as well. And don't forget to explore some of the wonderful assessments that we might have. So those are the phonics tools that we have and the supporting tools that we also have. But we also have our printables. Now you'll see at the bottom of your page, if I just hover over here for a moment so you can see where that is, we have our printable resource pack and our teacher resource pack. I mention these every webinar and that's because they are amazing resources. So you have your printable resources. And this will be for different subject areas here. So I can head into English, for example, and you've got your different tools just there. And you'll see we've got tools for different times of the year as well. World Book Day, Diwali, Chinese New Year, Remembrance Sunday. You can find all of those tools along with some classroom resources just there as well. You can also filter by the age range and the month of the year as well. So if you're looking ahead um, to maybe the next month or the next um, sort of event, you can have a look for those tools in mind. You've also got a search function just there as well. And not to forget our teacher resource pack. For all of those things, you probably spend half of your PPO PPA time making for your class. I know I did. Um, so these have been designed by teachers for teachers. Loads of tools in there, things that you can use for display purposes. There we go, a couple of tools there. Also tools that you can use flashcards there. You can print out and use them for your class. Um, as an example, just scroll down here. Number lines just there, you can see number pyramids, flashcards, loads of tools there. Even 3D shape nets. If I scroll right down past the British Sign Language and the language tools, there we go. How long did it take you to find a resource for time? There's three of them here two for analog and one for digital. So Print them off, edit them um, with a little bit of Tipex if you need to, but they are there for you to use. So that is just about everything for today's webinar. The phonics resources, explore them. Remember the activities get marked for you. Um, and have a look at that success tracker. It's on the home page and um, it's called scores and reports, but you'll be able to track the progress of all of your students. Um, whether they're doing phonics or not, but have a look um, at those tools um, and obviously you can use them for reporting purposes as well. I do hope this has helped you. Um, we do also have a number of spaces for future webinars that haven't yet been um, given a theme or a title. So if there's a webinar that you would like to see, let us know. You can send it to our email address just here. Um, we've also got our website and our Facebook and Twitter accounts there if you want to mention anything about today's webinar. We really do love to hear from you. Um, if you've got any questions for us, please get in touch. Hopefully I will see you at our future webinars, but until then, take care and stay safe. Bye bye.